Okay, so welcome everyone. Um, today we're going to be hosting our first Polymath Town Hall. Um, and really what we're gonna be doing here is updating the community on the current state of the technologies that make up the Polymath network. And so right today we have three people joining myself. Um, we have Greg Markow, uh, Pablo Ruiz, and Nick Yates. Um, each of them are representing different aspects of the Polymath network. Um, and together we'll be able to give a good um, summary of what the current state of the Polymath network is. So to begin, if everyone could just go around and introduce yourselves, starting with Pablo, uh, then Greg and Nick, please. Yeah, sure. Thanks, uh, Adam. Uh, well, I'm I'm VP of Engineering at, at Polymath. Uh, I was uh, I participated in the in the development of our Poly token, and since the, since January, I've been working on 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 developing our um, protocol and leading our our teams in building the both the both the gst 20 protocol and the and the dApps that uh, work on on top of it thank you pablo greg thanks aiden uh hey my name's greg um i'm the lead developer over at the matador um and over at matador we're just uh creating the uh first uh, client to handle the uh, polymath protocol so that issuers can uh, issue an STO, uh, ST20 token and uh, launch an STO as well. Thank you, hey guys. Greg. Nick? Uh, my, name's, my name's Nick Yates. Um, I am leading up the community effort at Polymath and helping to grow the developer community. Uh, I'll touch on that in a, in a little bit. Um, I come with some background of open source and uh, online community management. Okay, so to begin, we're gonna have three um, main points that we'd like for everyone to um, acknowledge. Um, the first will be a brief intro into the project that you're each leading and working on. The second will be a project map for the next month of that project. And then the third will be kind of up to you to really allow us to get a better understanding of the current state of affairs for that project. And so to begin, um, Pablo, would you please talk about the project you're leading um, for Polymath? Yeah, sure. Um, so as you, as you all might know, uh, since last year, we've been building the, a protocol for security tokens. Uh, called we called it uh, the ST20, and the premise here was making it easy as uh, well as easy as possible to create a regulatory compliant security token without having to be an expert on legal or smart contracts development. Um, early here, we launched, as I mentioned before, we launched our own utility token Poly, which is meant to fuel our our platform by allowing parties involved in in the in the Poly network to participate and contribute and get rewarded for it. For example, uh, under the, the Polymat network, a KYC provider could, could join it and verify investors earning fees in Poly in the process, or for example, developers, uh, which is our main focus here, they, they could create and submit their own security token offerings under Poly each time an issuer uses their, their contracts, basically. Uh, since we launched Back in, in January, we have been testing and getting a lot of feedback from, from pot potential issuers, uh, which led us to, to rethink a bit uh, our product strategy. Uh, the focus so far has been growing the team and experimenting with the technology while we learn from issuers. And right now we are past this, that stage. We are using that knowledge to build uh, a brand new iteration of the protocol to make it cleaner, more modular, and easy to use uh, and to build on top of it of course. Um, so regarding the roadmap and what we expect to, to, to be doing in the next few few weeks, uh, we'll be ready to show this, this new protocol to the world in about two weeks. So we expect to hear uh, from us very soon. 
And at the same time, we are building our own set of, of dApps and tools to make it easier for, for issuers to launch their security tokens. So in the next, uh, in the next town hall meeting that, that we hold uh, in a few weeks, we should be ready to show, to show some, some designs and wireframes uh, uh, for these apps. And finally, at the same time, we are collaborating with third party developers and companies who are building uh, other solutions on, on top of our platform. Uh, well, like, like Greg, who's, who's going to, to speak about that shortly. Perfect. Thank you so much, Pablo. Craig? So just to recap, what we'll be asking of you is a short um, intro to the project you're leading. Um, secondly, a project map for the upcoming month. And third, just any miscellaneous information that you would like to make sure is heard. Thank you. Thanks, Aiden, and uh, thanks, Paulo, for uh, pointing that out. Yeah, so uh, over at Matador, um, basically uh, what we're doing is we've been working closely with Polymath to ensure that we can get all the protocol level uh, requirements met. And uh, as I was explaining earlier, um, basically Matador is just here to help guide uh, issuers um, to building their ST20 token in a really streamlined way as well as launching their STO. Um, and as well, the, one of the benefits uh, in with Matador is that you're able to get connected with the right personnel to help you with that STO process later on uh, down the road. Um, and over on the development side, again, just working really closely, communicating with uh, people within Palma, specifically Pablo, to help us ensure that we meet all the requirements for that. Um, a uh, little project roadmap for us. Basically, uh, we had our first iteration of what we wanted it to look like, and now we are finalizing our production-ready version of the Matador client so that issuers can come in and uh, do their issuance. That should be done uh, within the next month, and by the time that the new protocol standards are out, we'll also be up to date at the same time. So it's pretty exciting for us over here because uh, you know, we'll be right there as soon as the pro new protocols get out. Um, we'll be able to also offer that to our clients as well. Perfect. Uh, Thank you. Okay. Thank you. This is. Thanks. Nick, I was, was going to ask a, um, a clarifying question. I know we've discussed before that it's, it's sometimes confusing around Matador. Can you give a, a an overview, like I guess, of how Matador relates to the entire the view of the project? Yeah. So basically. Um, We've, uh, we use, uh, uh, because we're using the protocol, uh, we're able to, uh, the difference is here that we're, we're not working on the protocol ourselves over at Matador. Um, we're just using the, what has been created by Polymath. Um, I know there's been some confusion around, uh, for instance, like we have this similar bull. This is just simply to help facilitate and show that like we're powered by Polymath. Um, it was something that, uh, over at Pablo's team, uh, thought it'd be also great. Um, and since we're going to be the first ones to actually uh, launch off the SD20, we really wanted to help, like, you know, make the distinction that we're using them uh, to the fullest extent as well. Uh, and yeah, I guess like going on top of that question is basically uh, because we are launching with the protocol, we the, the big differentiation we have is that we're offering people, our clients, uh, a full suite of tools and the networking capabilities to ensure that when they do launch that ST, STO after they've created their ST20 uh, token, um, with that STO when they go to launch it, that they will have uh, some of the best professionals. Sorry about that, it got muted right there. Um, uh, where, I'm not too sure where I ended off there, but... Um, Good, go ahead. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, so basically we just, like, the main difference is here, we're uh, a matter of, we're, we're, not, we're, just, we're not just facilitating the uh, creation of the token, we're also helping our clients, like, get to the end goal, which is launching their STO. Um, that's the big, that's a big, uh, important thing for us. Um, facilitating like a simple process to get the ST20 is like huge for us, but the big, uh, the big, uh, differentiating factors, we're here to make sure that when our clients launch on the S uh, an STO off of the polymath protocol, 
that they'll also have a full suite of professionals to help them, whether it comes to ensuring that they always meet the compliance, uh, like regulatory compliance issues, uh, marketing tools, all that is covered uh, with Matador, um, and that's what we're. That's what our main focus is on. Um, we also, with the on the dev side, we're just streamlining it so that your, so that our issuers have the easiest job when it comes to issuing and creating token. Because that's not the difficult por- uh, process of this. The difficult process is doing the STO, and we're here to facilitate that and make that as easy as possible as well. Perfect. Thank you so much, Greg. Um, and moving on, uh, lastly to Nick. Um, hey. Nick, if you could please give us a, a brief intro of the pro- of your project, a project map for the next month, and also if you could please just uh, give us any miscellaneous information like Greg had to add right now um, to the community aspects of Polymath. Yeah, thanks. Um, by the way, I don't have my my video attached. We couldn't get it working beforehand here, so I'm a headless voice, but. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, name is Nick again, and uh, leading up the community aspects. Um, one large part related to this, particularly, is the developer community, right? Um, and uh, something going forward um, that I'm working on right now is kind of a developer, or sorry, a community game plan, um, which does entail, I think, more than just the developers only, uh, which, which is a little bit outside the focus here. But we want to have a legal kind of community. Um, in addition to developers, and we also kind of have a, a general community, whether that's um, holders of poly or or just interested people. Um, so around the developer community, which is more specific to this this uh, meeting here, um, I think we really want to focus going forward on uh, education. Um, we're going to ramp up uh, some education documents on on getting developers able to understand what we're doing and what they can build with on top of us. Um, I think that's one of the really exciting things from kind of a third party developer standpoint is, is you know, hey, you can come on top of us and, 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 and make things and build a, a possible business on top of us. Um, and that's what we really want to want to see. Uh, we also hope to be attending. Um, we're going to be coming up with a plan to attend hackathons and support um, online bounties as well in the near future. Uh, so those are some things to look out for across the next month or two here. Um, and we've also got, like I said, a, a community game plan document um, that is public out there. Uh, I, I actually don't have the link on, on me right now, but um, I've been posting the link and I'll post it again out to our public telegram for a comment on getting feedback on, on uh, what the game plan is for the community. So uh, yeah, I'll just summarize um, by saying um, if you're a developer and you're interested in taking part, just like the rest of these guys here, uh, approach us on Telegram by email um, anywhere you see us. And my name is Nick, uh, Nick at Polymath and uh, dot Network, and uh, we'd be interested to have anybody else partake with us. So uh, Aiden, I'll flip it to you and um, and put you on the spot. Do you have anything to update us on and, and tell us what, what you've been doing? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so first, I just want to say thank you to everyone who participated in this call today. Uh, moving forward, I think these calls will be a really great way to um, integrate more developers and update more developers with the current state of the Polymath Network. And when we say the Polymath Network, just to be clear, we mean this, this decentralized network that exists right now that has multiple actors involved that are making sure and ensuring that this project will come to fruition with as many um, technological developments as possible. Um, So just to be very clear, this town hall in the future will also look to engage with other developers and other people outside of the main core that you see here today. Um, So please, if you are a developer, please reach out to us. Please let it be known that you want your voice heard. Um, If you're interested in getting involved in your own uh, STO template, in your own um, issuance, whatever it is you're looking to do, please do reach out to us because these calls are meant to engage the community as much as possible. Um, So kind of just to update everyone on our community kind of engagement, 
this upcoming weekend, Polymath will be at ETHUSD, which uh, is an Ethereum hackathon happening at uh, the University of Toronto. Um, so that'll be very exciting and give us um, a couple opportunities to uh, connect with young developers and expose the Polymath network to different use cases. Um, so that'll be really exciting. Um, on the horizon, really, for these calls, um, next call specifically, we'll be joined by Adam Dosa, who uh, is a lead developer, a senior Solidity developer for Polymath. Um, and hopefully, you know, one of our listeners today will join us as well as uh, someone who's building on top of Polymath. Um, so we're going to keep this call short, um, as it was mostly meant to intro and create a kind of a base for us to work on for next videos. Um, so if you do have any recommendations or any concerns as to what you heard, please reach out to us and make your voice heard. Um, yeah, so I just want to thank everyone again, Pablo, Greg, Nick, for making this happen. Um, I'm really you, happy Andy. with how this went. Yeah, thanks, um, and I'm, I'm really excited for how this will develop in the future. Look forward to more. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Is there, is there anything else someone wants to say just before we end it? Um, okay. what's, the drum, what's the drum beat on the uh, on these meetings? When, when will we be having them? So we're going to try and have this um, every two weeks to a month. We are in the process right now of solidifying no pun intended, what exactly that um, <laughs> what exactly that timeline will look like. Um, but hopefully every two weeks to a month will be the uh, the the standard we keep ourselves to. Sounds great. Sounds good. Thank you so awesome. much, everyone. Thanks for having us. Catch you guys later. Bye.